Hello students, this is your second session. In the last session, we have discussed how to convert from decimal to binary conversion. But in this session, we are going to discuss about decimal to octal conversion. Decimal to octal conversion. The first step is divide the given decimal number, divide the given decimal number, by 8. Step 2. Note the quotient and reminder. Step 3. Repeat step 1 and step 2 until the quotient becomes 0. What is step 4? The first reminder is LSP. The first reminder is the first reminder is LSP and the last reminder is MSP. The octal equivalent number is number is written from is written from MSB to LSP. MSB to LSP. The first step is we have to divide the given decimal number by 8. And the second step is we have to note down the quotient as well as the reminder. The third step is we have to continue step 1 and step 2 until we get the quotient as 0. In the fourth step, we have to mark down the LSB and MSB. While writing the octal equivalent, we have to write from MSB to LSB. Now, let us do some problems based on this conversion. The first problem is 459 base 10. We have to convert it into octal number system. Hence, the base is 8 here. So, what is the first step? The first step is we have to divide the given decimal number by 8. 8 fives are 40. 8 sevens are 56, 3 carry, sorry, 3 reminder. 8 fives are 40, 8 sevens are 56, 3 reminder. 8 sevens are 56, 1 reminder. We cannot divide 7 by 8, hence 8 zeros are 0, 7 as reminder. So, mark down the LSB and the MSB. The first reminder is called as least significant bit and the last reminder is called as most significant bit. So, while writing the octal equivalent, we have to write from MSB to LSB. So, what is the value of 459 base 10 is equal to 713. So, the Final value of 459 base 10 is equal to 713 base 8. 
Next, second problem. 765 base 10. So divide 765 by 8. 8 nines are 72. 4 carry. 8 fives are 40. 5 reminder. 8 ones are 8. 1 carry. 8 ones are 8. 7 reminder. 8 ones are 8. 3 reminder. 8 zeros are 0. 1 reminder. So mark down. LSB and MSB. So what is the value of 765 base 10? The value is 1375 base 8. Next problem. 3rd problem is 29.30 base 10. First we have to divide integer by 8. So 29 divided by 8. 8 3 is a 24 5 reminder. 8 0 is a 0 3 reminder. So this is our LSP and this is our MSP. So what is the value of 29? The value of 29 is 35. Next we have to multiply the decimal part by 8. So 0 0.30 into 8. That is 2.40. So we have to consider only the integer part. So consider 2. Next decimal part. Multiply it by 8. 3.20 that is 3. 0 0.20 into 8 that is 1.60. 1. Next 0 0.60 into 8. 4.80 consider only the integer part. 0 0.80 into 8. 0. It is a 6446.16. So, as it is a So, what is the value of 29.30? That is 35. The value of 29 is 35. So, 35 point. So, what is the fractional part value? That is 23146. As it is a recurring number, so I have stopped for 5 digits. That is 23146 base 8. Next problem. 0 0.3125 base 10. So what we have to do? Here we don't have integer part. So we have to multiply the decimal part by 8. So 0 0.3125 into 8. That is 2.5000. So consider only the integer part. So next. So multiply the decimal by 8. 0 0.5000 into 8. That is 4.000. Consider the integer part. Here we don't have any decimal part. 
what is 0, 0, 0. Hence, we have to stop at this step. So, what is the value of 0 0.3125? That is 0 0.24 base 8. So, this is how we have to convert from decimal to octal number system. Thank you.